Hey, thanks very much. Thanks for changing things around for me. No, it's all good, Coach. Appreciate it. And, and safe travels again down to New Orleans. Um, Coach, uh, you know, your thoughts on um, earning number 11 seed and playing Troy in the first round before we get started? Um, obviously, you know, we're excited to be going down there. You know, you get to turn the page on the season. And uh, everything, st- everyone starts zero on zero, so that's exciting. Uh, Troy is a very good team, uh, very well coached. Uh, they play extremely hard, and, and they really expose you if you're not able to play, uh, you know, as hard as they do. Um, obviously, they, they're a team that could be very successful in the postseason because they have, you know, a really talented guy inside, and they have a bunch of bunch of shooters around them so that's a that's a great combination for them and it's going to be a challenge for us a challenge we're looking forward to coach thank you we'll go to our first questions from brett strelo with the winston salem journal hey jim just wanted to get your thoughts on uh being part of this event for the first time obviously some of that was out of your control early on but just what will it be like to to have that postseason care for this group <laughs> uh you know it's exciting uh thrilled for our guys they get to experience this um you know, not being able to go the first year we were here and then kind of, you know, a heartbreaker last year. Uh, it's a couple of, you know, one-point losses uh, cost us. But, um, you know, this is a young group, and uh, I think it's, uh, you know, they get to basically participate in the madness, and, and everyone has a chance. And um, I know our guys have a lot of energy the last couple of days of practice. Um, you know, and, and it's, it, as I said, for a young team, uh, it, it's exciting for them to be able to watch it, um, you know, it'll be a learning experience for them, uh, one we could build on, but we're excited to go out there and compete. Anything with your team, just trend-wise, or a thing you're doing particularly well or kind of an area of improvement that you kind of see uh, kind of at the end of the regular season coming off that Coastal game? Yeah, you know, I mean, you've seen us play all the time, and so it's just a question of you know, getting over that mental hurdle. Uh, again, you know, we – you know, we've we've played well, and then and then we'll have one or two things. We'll have adversity hit us, and um, and we we did, we had not responded to that well. But um, you know, I think hopefully we can build off that coastal game because we played very well in the first half, and and then you know we did not play well in the second half until the very end of the game when we executed. We did what we had to do to win, and uh, we got stops. We executed. We made our free throws. So hopefully our guys will take a lot from that and get some confidence going into a, a great matchup against Troy. Thanks, Jim. Okay, Brett. Thank you, Brett. Uh, we'll go to our next questions from Jeremy Wise with the Dothan Eagle. Hey, Coach Fox. Uh, I got to see you come down to Troy uh, earlier this year, and that was just such a weird game. Uh, a lot of runs from both sides. Um uh, did you learn anything about Troy uh, specifically in that game that, that you take taken the game plan going into uh, this weekend or this week? Yeah, sure. Anytime, you know, we we did not. It was weird the schedule, the way the schedule was set up. We didn't see them until the end of February. Um, but, you know, we learned a lot. I think, um, obviously, anytime you get to watch film on, you know, Troy against us and see how they handle certain situations, see how we handled what worked, what didn't work. Um, it was a weird game. Uh, we turned the ball over a lot, did, didn't take great shots. So that was a – hopefully we'll be able to correct those things and, um, and you know, and, and, and play a lot better, um, you know, on Wednesday night. And, well, uh, I guess, well, Kenny had to be uh, a key component of the game. I know he had a, I think he had a double-double the, uh, in, in the Troy game uh, coming down here. Uh, well, he had to be another key uh, guy for you uh, heading into this game. Well, yeah, we always lean on Griff because he's, you know, he's that steady guy down low in the post. Uh, he can body people. Uh, you know, he's he's really taking his game to the next level this year with his ability to score. Um, like you said, you know, he, he gets on the glass, he rebounds well, both on the offensive and defensive end, and he's been able to put in, you know, put in eight, nine, ten points for us. You know, and sometimes even more than that. So, but you know, the thing I like about our team is our versatility and. Uh, you know, hopefully we'll have guys that step up in that game. And, you know, if Griff's going to be that guy, maybe, you know, is that guy on Wednesday night, that's great for us. Okay, thanks, Coach. Okay. Jeremy, thank you very much. And, Coach, thanks a lot for your time this uh, afternoon. Uh, safe travels down to New Orleans. Thank you. Thanks again for having me. Take care. Yeah, thank you and appreciate it. And, again, that was uh, Head Coach Jim Fox of Appalachian State Men's Basketball, the Mountaineers earned the number 11 seed in the tournament, and they will take on number six seed Troy 
in the first round on Wednesday night. And the 